tell me the truth, that's an order. It's not my pot. It's from Max. Is this true? Uh... Um... Yeah, I'll take the blame. Uh, yeah. My pot. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hick hole. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. That's true. All right, let's change it and see see what happens. Open the door. One, two. You can hide a joint, but not the smell. Forget it. What's going on in here? Why is she here? None of your business. <sighs> I don't like strangers here. Stop freaking. She's not a stranger. This is my friend. Great. Another one of your friends. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh, God. I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait. Is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh, yeah. Guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. It's not my pot. It's from Max. Um... Is this true? Okay. No way. That's not mine. Oh, of course not. I'm sure Chloe gets all the best shit, right? I'm sure she gave you good friend rights. Why don't you get off my crack? Stop taking your war rage out on high school girls. You haven't seen rage, you little- Fuck you, pig! I... Listen. You asked for that. You know exactly what you're doing. I can already tell from today that you're trouble, Max. I hope this doesn't affect your status at Blackwell. Don't ever come back here. Listen, dipshit, if you ever lay a hand on me again, I'll have your ass in jail. Then you can guard yourself all night. You're the ones who'll end up in jail. Oh, you only think you're tough and clever. This too shall pass. And clean this pigsty up. I'm sorry, Chloe. I didn't know what to do. Whatever. Everybody bails on me. Even my best friend, Max. Don't you? So done with everybody in this town. I wish I hadn't even seen you. As if you care. Color me out of here. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? Oh man, I don't know what to do. All right, let's let's do the other option. I'm sure we'll get that bastard soon enough. Three. Shit. <clears throat> Thanks for taking the heat. Down, Max. He's no. Okay. Let's get out of here.
I know it has consequences. Oh, the lighthouse again. Fantastic. Probably gonna have to post this in parts because this is a long episode. Isn't this awesome sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slow poke! Hold on. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Yeah. And there was a fallen tree behind us, I remember. Um I got you. Maximum aperture. I an optional for God dang it. I missed so many photos. That's okay. That was an achievement that popped up, by the way. Hello, cute little squirrel. You and me. Stare contest. Or a photo. Never mind. Yeah, that achievement said, um... Aperture contest, fine. Optional photo number nine. And I've only found the first one, and I've already missed eight. Or seven, so... I owe you thanks for today, I'll call back later. Um... Still have to tell me a big secret. Birds are so lucky. That I do. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort, so we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> okay. Graffiti fireplace. How long has that been here? Trust no one. Clearly, the Bigfoots are everywhere. <laughs> uh. Too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. A tree I could turn this way now. I face the lonely autumn tree and never look back. Interesting. Sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. You're in a good mood. Seeing my step dork get played makes me happy. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm yeah. Sorry I had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a yeah. lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? I wish. You know I would have read them. I'd love to. They must be important, or he wouldn't hide them deep in Door his garage was locked. bunker. He kind of creeps me out. Oh, his garage. I bet the truth is out there in his files. Most likely, but it's good you didn't find his files. He would go ballistic. He's a total surveillance fetish. I worry there's spy cams in the house. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. 
and he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy <coughs> You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. <sighs> police or he's still... Yeah, police. What are you going to do? Pop a cap in his ass? Let's call the police. Screw that. You already told the principal and I'm sure it's useless. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. <sighs> if this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Oh no! What the fuck? Not a kid. Why is this happening to me? Is Chloe still up there? Oh, I have to find out. Um... <laughs> That's so cool. This is really freaking weird. Oh my lord! The tornado is back! Wait, can I? Uh, uh. 